Hey, thanks so much for joining me for today's practice. You might at some point hear some thumping on the ground. My dog is right in front of me. She's wagging her tail. She loves yoga time. So you might see her up here in the video at some point. So anyway, getting back to class, today's class is called focus on the good yoga. And the reason why I wanted to call it this is because I want us to really think about focusing on the good. We get really caught up in nitpicking ourselves and just basically getting wrapped up into what did I do wrong? How can I be better? There's so much stress and anxiety we cause ourselves with our own thoughts. We're all guilty of it. So for this time of our practice today, I want to offer you to focus on the good, the good being the time that you have to practice this free resource of being able to practice the fact that it's on demand. You can practice whenever you want. The main point being that you took time to get into your body, to connect with your breath and to offer yourself time through your movement practice. So we're going to focus on the good. If you are in a pose or a transition and you find that judgmental thought, come back to focusing on the good. You're here now, you're in your practice, you have this space and time. Some people don't feel gratitude. Keep coming back to focusing on what's good, what you have, what you're grateful for. So to start class today, we'll just start off in a comfortable seated position. We'll bring the gaze inward, we'll close the eyes, and we'll start to focus on our breath. Deep inhalations, slow exhalations. I'm feeling this life force energy, this breath, moving in and out of the body. This might be the first time today that you've even thought about your breath. Focus on how good it feels. A couple more rounds of breath. And then start to flutter the eyes open, come back into the space. From here, you might tuck your chin towards your chest and just make half circles. So you're bringing one ear above the same side shoulder and then taking it over to the other side. Now, as you move from side to side, you may notice one side of the neck might feel a little tighter than the other. It's pretty common for most of us. So no worries, you can give yourself a longer hold just letting the congestion release. There's that tail thumping. I know you can't see her, but my sweet Lilu is here with us sharing this yoga practice. Now, if you've been giving a longer hold to one side, go ahead, switch it up, take it to the other side. Know that we're going to move on after one more full round of breath. Bring the chin back to center. Take your hands outside of your hips as you inhale, lift the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, take the shoulders back and down. Continue to move in this direction. Just letting any tension melt away. Right now we're focusing on the good. We don't need anything else. And the next time the shoulders come up, back and down, just set the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, sweep the arms up, fingertips towards the sky. Exhale, release one hand down. Look to make sure it's in line with your hip. Inhale, reach the top hand up. And then exhale, reach it over to your grounded hand. Side body stretching. Just gently opening up. Reaching through the fingers. Positioning the bicep above the ear. And on our next inhale, we're going to sweep the arms up to center. Exhale, drop opposite hand. Inhale, reach the top fingers up. Exhale, fold over. 
side body openers are really important to take because it's a part of the human body that we stretch the least. So we want to give attention there. And it feels so good that we'll do it one more time on each side. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, set it up opposite side. Now this time you might be able to go a little deeper into it. If not, no worries. Just reach and breathe. Inhale, arms rise up. Exhale, one more time, second side. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, float the arms down. Now we are gonna change the station of our body from seated to kneeling. So as you do this, reach your hands in front of you, lift your hips, and come on to a neutral tabletop position. So as you set it up, spread the fingers wide, press palms to the mat. Wrists are under the shoulders, arms are straight, knees are under the hips. From here, as you inhale, let your belly lower, getting extension for the spine. And as you exhale, lift your back, create space between the shoulder blades. Continue to move with the breath. And let the movement be exaggerated. We'll come back to a neutral tabletop position. From here, we'll get into the hips, one hip at a time. So starting with the right side. As you inhale, lift your right knee up and out to the right. Exhale, lower the knee towards the mat. And again, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. One more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Now press the heel back. Draw a big circle with your knee and then take two more in this direction. Once you've taken three circles, switch it up, opposite direction. And then right knee meets the mat. Take a full round of breath here. Inhale through the nostrils. Exhale, open the mouth, big sigh of relief. Coming into the left side, inhale, lift the left knee up and out. Exhale, lower the knee towards the mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. One more time, movement following the breath, and then press the heel back, big circle, feeling into the hip, taking three in this direction, and then switch it up, three opposite direction. Left knee meets the mat, inhale through the nostrils, exhale, open the mouth, sigh of relief, letting it go. Now from here, Let's walk the hands one hand placement forward. This is gonna give you a little more space. And then send the hips forward, keep the arms straight. Exhale, lift the hips, take them back. Couple more rounds. Noticing each time you go back how good it feels for your arms and your shoulders. One more round. And this time, as you take the hips back, you can stay in child's pose for another round of breath. And then from here, we're gonna transition to downward facing dog. Find your alignment. As you come into your down dog, think about sending your chest towards your thighs. Maybe you rock the hips from side to side. Come back to center. Now on your next inhale, lift and lengthen your right leg. Exhale, bend your knee, bring it to your nose. Inhale, re-lengthen. Exhale, right knee to right tricep. Inhale, find length. Exhale, right knee to left tricep. Inhale, find length. Exhale, right foot meets the mat. Full round of breath, inhaling through the nostrils. Exhale, release, let it go. 
On your next inhale, lift and lengthen that left leg. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, find length. Exhale, left knee to left tricep. Inhale, find length. Exhale, left knee to right tricep. Inhale, find length. Exhale, left foot drops down. Full round of breath here. Exhale, let it go. And slowly walk your hands towards your feet, coming to the back of the mat. And as you inhale, take a half lift. Exhale, release the arms, let them dangle. Now, if your hamstrings are tight, bend your knees. If your hamstrings are more open, you can straighten your legs. Option to let the arms dangle, or you can grab onto your elbows with opposite hands, framing your head with your arms. And then from here, you can take alternate knee bends if that feels good in your body. Even out the sides. Release your arms. Walk your hands forward so you're coming back into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift and lengthen that right leg. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, find length. Exhale, knee to right tricep. Inhale, find length. Exhale, knee to the left. Pause here, kick the right foot out, pinky side touches down. Left sole of the foot rotates to meet the mat. Reach the left fingers up. Exhale, take the left hand down. Inhale, re-lengthen that right foot. Exhale, right foot meets the mat. Find your breath, inhale through the nostrils. Exhale, open the mouth, let it go. Inhale, lift and lengthen the left leg. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, find length. Exhale, left knee to left tricep. Inhale, find length. Exhale, left knee to right tricep. Kick the foot out. Rotate onto your back foot. Reach the fingers up, gaze up. Exhale, take the right hand down. Inhale, re-lengthen the left leg. Exhale, left foot meets the mat. Find your breath. Inhale through the nostrils. Exhale, let it go. Continue to find your breath. And then walk your feet to the top of the mat. Coming back into a forward fold variation. So as you inhale, take a half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift, bring your feet together. Now take your right foot behind your left. You might adjust where your hands are to frame the feet. Now keeping the legs straight, slowly start to fold. Notice where you feel the sensation. Next inhale, half lift. Exhale, right foot steps back over beside the left. Fold. Inhale, take another half lift. Exhale, left ankle crosses behind the right. And once you're ready, once the legs are straight, fold again. Keeping the legs as straight as possible. Focus on your breath. Let the back of the body get a nice deep stretch. Inhale, half lift. And then exhale, left foot comes over to meet the right. Go straight into your fold. Now from here, Plant the hands, slowly walk the feet back. You can jump back if you want, if that's part of your practice. Meeting in down dog, we're gonna take one more variation of our flow. 
Starting with the right side, inhale, lift and lengthen the right leg. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, re-lengthen. Exhale, knee to right tricep. Inhale, find length. Exhale, knee to left tricep. Kick it out, reach the left fingers up. Exhale, take the left hand down to the mat. Inhale, re-lengthen the right leg. Now don't anticipate, we're gonna add on. Bend the right knee, heel to glute. Option to stay here or option to drop that right foot. Open the heart, gaze up, find wild thing. Now from here, slowly and carefully coming out, take the right hand down to the mat. Inhale, re-lengthen the right foot. Exhale, right foot meets the mat. Now rotate onto the pinky side of the right foot. Stack the left foot, reach the left fingers up. And on your next exhale, take the left hand down. Now from plank position, we have an opportunity to move through a vinyasa, bending the elbows for chaturanga, and then coming into cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, let's take it to downward facing dog. We'll enjoy a few rounds of breath here, or we can come into child's pose. Find your option. What do you need at this point of your practice? If your shoulders need a break, then you can come into child's pose with your arms by your sides. Maybe you take the time now to grab a sip of water. Focus on the good. What is feeling good in your body in this practice? What can you celebrate from what you've already done? We'll start to transition back to down dog if you took child's pose. And then we'll come into the second side. So inhale, lift and lengthen that left leg. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, find length. Exhale, knee to left tricep. Inhale, find length. Exhale, knee to right tricep. Here's where we kick it out. Reach up with the right fingers. Exhale, take the right hand down. Inhale, re-lengthen the left leg. Bend the knee. Option to stay here or drop the foot. Open your heart. Find your wild thing. Gaze is up. Heart is open. Now the left hand comes down. Left leg reaches up, and we take the left foot down, roll onto the pinky side of the left foot. From here, we stack the right foot, reach the right fingers up. Hold and breathe. Exhale, right hand meets the mat. Find your plank position. Option to move through a vinyasa. And then we find downward facing dog. So again, listen to your shoulders. If your shoulders need a break, come into child's pose with arms by your sides, forehead to the mat. Give the shoulders time to relax. Now, if you're still in downward facing dog, go ahead and come into child's pose. Give yourself time, give yourself breath. And as you connect in your child's pose, I want you to close your eyes, bring your gaze inward. And just simply focus on the good. What feels good. What good can you take from this practice into your day? Or alternatively, what good from your day can you bring into this practice? Focus here on things you've accomplished rather than goals you have. We get so caught up in achieving things and looking towards the future 
that we aren't really celebrating what's happening in the present. And even if these celebrations are small, we can still honor them. Celebrating the fact that we made our way to our practice today. Take another full round of breath here in your child's pose. And then from your child's pose, as you inhale, slowly lift the crown of the head, rising up. Finding a straight spine. Finding your breath. From here, we're going to get deeper into the hips. Reaching the hands forward, lifting the hips, opening the knees to hip distance. We're going to take that right knee behind the right wrist, lengthen the left leg. <clears throat> Coming into pigeon pose. So here, it might be enough for you to keep the arms straight. You might feel enough sensation there at your right hip. Or you might decide to walk the hands forward, opening your elbows and stacking one hand on top of the other, making a pillow for your forehead. Take like a few rounds of breath here. With each exhale, just really letting the heart sink down towards the mat. Deep hip opener. And to slowly come out and just lift our head. If this is feeling really good to you, you're welcome to stay there longer. You can always pause the video anytime you want or need. And then from here, we'll just lift the hips, take the right knee back. Now we are going to curl the toes, come into down dog. And press that right foot to the mat. Take a deep bend in the left knee. Feel the stretch going up the right leg into the hip. And then bend the right knee. Both knees lower down to the mat. Left knee comes behind the left wrist. Right leg straightens behind you. Pigeon pose now on this side. Check it out. See what you like. Maybe this is enough to have straight arms gazing forward. Or maybe you decide to walk the hands forward, send the elbows out, lower the forehead down. Now feeling into the left hip. Preparing to come out slowly or option to stay here longer. Just pausing the video. You decide. This is your practice. Lift the head, press palms to the mat. And then once you've got straight arms, we'll lift the hips to send that left knee back. And then we'll curl all 10 toes, lift the hips, find our down dog. And we'll press that left heel down. Take a bend in the right knee. Focusing on that good stretch, going up the left leg into the hip. It feels so good. And then we'll bend the left knee. Both knees come down to the mat. From here, we'll bring both knees together. Lift that right knee, cross it in front of the left, and then look back, send the feet out wide. So as you sit back, you're not sitting on your feet. So if this is way too much for you, then you can take a block or a pillow or any other prop that feels appropriate. And then you can sit on the block. That's going to give you a little more height. That'll be more comfortable for you if you have knee issues. Otherwise, you can just sit down to the mat, but shimmy from side to side. Make sure that you can feel both hips grounded. Then from here, 
in our Gomukhasana, we're gonna fold forward if you want to. Again, you might feel enough of a stretch here, but if you wanna go deeper, you're just gonna lead with your heart leaning forward. And you're just gonna lean forward or walk the hands forward as much as you need to, to really intensify the stretch at the hip. The more you fold, the deeper you're gonna feel the stretch. I'll take another round of breath. Inhale, lift the head up. Now before we do this on the other side, we're gonna lift that right foot, press the sole of the foot to the mat, and then the right hand is gonna come behind the right hip. Inhale, reach the left fingers up, and as you exhale, twist to the right. Let that left elbow find the right thigh and maybe the left hand drops down to the left heel. Keep looking back, spinal twist. And on your next exhale, slowly rotate to center. And then take both arms over to the left. Bend the elbows, get a little counter stretch here. And then lift up, find center. So now your right leg is above your left. You can switch it and reverse it from a comfortable seat, or you can do it as we did before by coming onto hands and knees and now bringing the left knee above the right. Just make sure you're sending the feet out so as you sit back, you're not actually sitting on your feet. And then we'll get our stretch here for internal rotation for our hip on this side. So fingertips come forward. Again, grab your block if you need to. This side might feel totally different. You might need a prop or not. It's okay if this side is different than the other. Most of us are like that. Have one side that feels different. So whether you're sitting on the block or not, decide if this is enough for you or if you want to walk the hands forward. Just deciding how much is appropriate for you to fold today. How much or how little your hips need. And then on your next inhale, slowly start to rise up, crown of the head reaching up. And then preparing for our spinal twist, we'll lift the knee enough to get the sole of the left foot outside of the right thigh. Left hand is going to come behind the left hip like a kickstand. Inhale, reach the right fingers up. And as you exhale, Lower that right elbow to the left thigh, twist deeper, look past your left shoulder. Maybe that right hand lowers down to the right heel. Keep breathing. Now on your next exhale, and gently release. First, rotating to center, then taking both hands over to the right and just lowering down, a little counter stretch here. And then rise up. From here, we'll unwind the legs and scoot your boot to the middle of the mat. Come onto your back, extend your legs. So make space between your feet and then let your arms come out to the sides. Palms are facing up. Find comfort in your resting position. So maybe adjusting anything like clothing or your hair tie. You might bring the toes in and then out. And as you move the feet left to right, right to left, side to side, feel the movement going all the way up to the hips. And create space of the armpit so the arms are away from the body. So our body's in the shape of a star. Here we tuck our chin towards our chest and 
we close our eyes, we bring our gaze inward. And we give ourselves time to just ground down, focusing on the good. This moment, this time, this practice. All the goodness and richness it offers us, not only to our body, but also to our spirit. I find that when we spend more time with ourselves, connecting through movement or meditation or any other healing modality, we're able to focus on the good aspects of ourselves. We remind ourselves why we're here, why we're important. We need to celebrate the good and not get so caught up in the little details of the not so good. The not so good is just learning, it's growth. But know that there's so much good within you and it's totally okay to celebrate it and to share it. And with your gaze inward and your eyes closed, visualize one aspect of yourself that's good. See it and focus on it. Keep holding that mental picture and just breathe. Know that you are so good. We can always come back to this goodness. Feel free to stay here as long as you'd like. Or feel free to close your practice here with me today. Thank you so much for sharing your goodness with me. It's my honor to be here guiding you. The good in me sees, honors, and recognizes the good in you. Namaste.